I grew up in Albuquerque, New Mexico, but I was born in Kansas, and that's where the majority of my family lives. And so growing up, it was interesting. I was bicultural in a lot of senses. I had, um, I have a Mexican-American mother and uh, an Anglo father. And so being biracial and being marked in that way through school really gave me particular perspectives on how the world worked um, within my family and within the larger community in which I lived. I moved to Kansas to do my undergraduate work at the University of Kansas and then made it to Minneapolis to do my graduate work in feminist studies. And along the way, I would say I've always been a passionate uh, member of all of my communities and really saw leadership as an important aspect of my own development and my own contributions to the world that I lived in. Um, I would say the biggest uh, incident that really shaped my life happened when I was 18. I interned at the Albuquerque Rape Crisis Center where I really began to recognize that some of the things that seemed wrong to me in the world just through my own personal experience of dealing with racism and sexism really had a name and had language to it and had a whole set of beliefs that accompanied being able to explain why and how power operates in our society. And so that was a really formative moment for me. It led me to take women's and gender studies classes as an undergrad, which eventually led to my studying feminist studies for my PhD work. And along the way, obviously being in the, the field of women's and gender studies, there has always been this commitment to not just valuing the theoretical, but also understanding how do we put that theory into practice and live an identity of trying to break down barriers for marginalized groups, to think about how power operates again, how our privileges operate in those spaces, and to take what we learn in the classroom and put it back out into the world around us. So for me, that's really where my passion comes from in terms of thinking about gender equality, but it's obviously also very much about this intersectional approach. So feminist theorist Kimberly Crenshaw came up with this idea of intersectionality, specifically thinking about African-American women as her frame, where we cannot um, divest our gender and racial identities from ourselves as women of color. And I think that that has become really the point that I've lived my life as a woman of color and also as a queer woman of color, the intersections of my identity absolutely shape both how I see the world and how uh, others see me and react to me as a person. And so understanding that uh, my own identity affects other people's perceptions of my identity and navigating those different spaces has been really important in a framework for understanding both my place in the world and also what I can do to change it.